How to create a parametric pattern based massing design. Let's start. Open the Revit. Let's create a new families. Open the metric <coughs> generic pattern base. Open Okay. Select the grid. Change the horizontal spacing to 15,000 millimeter and the vertical spacing to 15,000 millimeter. Okay, select reference point. Select the draw on work plane. Set work plane. Set work plane and pick reference point. Set work plane. Set and pick reference point. Set work plane. Set pick reference point. Set work plane. Set and pick reference point. Cancel the command. Select all. Go to filter. Check none and select reference point. Okay. Next, go to offset, pick the button, and create new parameter. Name it offset. Okay, okay. Go to family types. Select the offset value, change it to 8000 millimeter. Apply. Okay. Next, select these two reference points. Okay, spline through points, check reference line, select these two reference point, spline through points, check reference line, select reference point, select draw on plane, Pick at midpoint. Okay, pick at midpoint. Pick. Next, select the two reference point. Select spline through points. Check reference line. Select the two reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Select reference point. Okay. Pick at midpoint. Okay. Pick at midpoint. Next. Uh, let's orbit the view. Okay. Next. Select the two reference point. Spline through points. <coughs> Check reference line. Next, select reference point. Pick at midpoint. Okay. Next, select this two reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Select this two reference point. Okay. Select. Spline through points. Check reference line. Okay. One more. Select this reference point and this reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Select reference point, pick one here, and one here, okay, select this reference point, let's go to normalize curve parameter, pick the button, let's create a new parameter, ncp1, 
Okay, okay. Next, select this reference point. Go to normalize curve parameter. Pick the button and create new parameter. NCP2. Okay. Next. Um, <coughs> go to file. Let's create a new family. Select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Let's create a four point spline adaptive. Okay, select reference point. Okay, pick for reference point. Select all and make adaptive. Okay, and select spline through points. Okay, next save. Let's save it to the desktop. Uh, name it adaptive. Uh, port point spline save ok yes replace next loading to the project and close ok next cancel or escape Let's orbit the view. Uh, let's orbit the view. Okay. Then select reference point. Pick at midpoint and pick at midpoint. Let's orbit again. Okay. Next. Select the four point spline, adaptive four point spline. Insert, okay, pick here, pick one here, here, and here. Okay, next, pick one here, one here, here and here okay cancel okay next um, <coughs> select the two spline create form okay Next, let's check the parameters. Go to family types, NCP1. Let's change this to point six. Okay, uh, let's make it point fifty five. Okay, NCP2. Let's make it point forty five. Okay. Let's check the model. Okay. Next. Uh, go to family type. Let's change this to point 0.4. Okay. Good. Okay. Next. Um, select the surface divide surface let's change the U grid to 6 ok ok Next, let's down, download and open 
the curtain pan panel by pattern the rectangle sp05 okay load into the project select the surface and select the pattern okay Okay, component clip. Okay, good. Next, let's check the model. Let's make it shaded. Okay. Okay. Let's change the frame, select the model, go to edit type and change the frame one diameter to 200. Okay, good. <clears throat> now, let's save file save this or name it pattern base massing save go to file let's create a new project Select the architectural. Okay. Let's uh, go to massing and site. Turn on show mass. Select in place mass. Okay. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Same with the grid. 15 meters. 15,000 by 15,000 millimeter. Let's go to 3D view. Select the rectangle. Create form. Select the top surface. Delete. Select the bottom surface. Divide surface. Change the U grid number to 1 and the B grid number to 1. Okay, select the pattern. Okay. Load into the project. Okay, next. Go back to 3D. Select the surface. Uh, create form. Undo. Okay, select again the surface. Select and select the pattern. Okay. Change it again. Select the pattern base massing. Okay. Good. Okay, change the graphic display to shaded. Okay. Okay. Now you have a parametric pattern based massing design. Thank you.